Will sensors become the next innovation at the job site? A new innovation center is dedicated to fostering the creation, development, production, and even promotion of cutting edge sensor technologies. By working collaboratively and creating a connected community, Sensor City hopes to be a hub for sensor technology. Here to chat with me all about this trend is Allison Mitchell, Executive Director of Sensor City. So Allison, let's talk about Sensor City and why you set this up in Liverpool and what you guys are doing today. Well, um, why we set it up in Liverpool, because Liverpool is right in the centre of the United Kingdom. Um, it's a fantastic location with a really vibrant business community. Um, we have a huge number of companies that are coming up, particularly in sensors and Internet of Things related activities. And what we've created here is a purpose built building for those companies to come into, to take off this space or to be a member of. And we've got the most fantastic facilities for them here. So what exactly is it designed to do and why is it important when we think about construction companies and what we're focused on or what you're focused on, I should say? Um, well, for, from construction companies, Internet of Things and sensors are really important. Um, sensors are right the way across pretty much every sector in our lives at the moment. So whether it's food technology, whether it's construction, whether it's automobiles, um, health, sensors are everywhere. And in construction in particular, um, everybody will be familiar with the way that sensors are being used in buildings management, making sure that we've got more effective and more efficient buildings and that we are monitoring how people are using those buildings. Um, so that's one way that it's used with, within the construction industry in particular. When you think about that today, you know, in buildings and how sensors are changing the way we think about things, I mean, we are just beginning to see the construction industry embrace the Internet of Things. And now thinking about it in buildings, that's really changing dramatically. How are we getting construction companies and buildings really looking at the Internet of Things? Because it's exciting and it's changing pretty quickly. It certainly is. It's really changing rapidly. And I think I think it's quite exciting across each of these sectors. We've got um, a mix of very large companies who can't move quickly um, to exploit these technologies. But what we've got is lots of small companies that are coming up. And those small companies with new ideas who can move quickly are the ones that we're incubating in this building here. So they're companies who are working right at the cutting edge of technology and can then help the larger companies to take on those technology so the large companies might buy those smaller companies might choose to invest in them or to license that technology and what we're doing in center city is housing those small really rapidly growing companies and making them available to some of the larger and medium-sized companies talk about that those innovative startup those tech startups who who have these creative ideas because that's where I think that incubator brain kind of knowledge comes out of there that you talk about that get purchased, you know, because I think that's where the new ideas come from. And that's where the tech companies see that. And then the construction companies who are always kind of hesitant start seeing that this can really be used in their companies. Yeah, certainly. I mean, at, at this very moment, actually, we're running um, a hack event upstairs on our third floor. Um, and that's about health. But actually, it's not just about health. It's about how people can stay in their homes and be looked after in their homes. So we've got a whole range of technologies coming out from some of the companies that are in the building here, but from some of the companies also around the Liverpool and Northwest region, working with, for example, in this instance, with the health authorities um, to actually look at solutions to enable people to be in their in their homes, in their own building for longer rather than having to go into hospital. And also how we treat them when they maybe they've been in hospital and they come out. So these we're actually running a hack today with with Amazon involved as well and with the local city council to look at how they can enable people to stay in their homes. So typical sort of things there um, can be testing um, making sure we're monitoring whether people are still in the beds or whether they've fallen onto the floor, which can cause problems, making sure they're getting help quickly, making sure they're not getting dehydrated, which causes a lot of falls. Um, making sure there's some of the simple things like, uh, you know, which are already available, such as turning on your kettle in the morning means that somebody's still up and well. But it can move to quite sophisticated um, monitoring of people of people as well. So that's actually um, going on today. We're going to get some new companies created out of that, and then they will be working with the health authority. So we could equally be doing an event on construction with a number of companies coming from different parts of 
sectors, not just from traditional construction companies, where we were working at how do you ensure that a building is being used efficiently and where your spaces are that maybe aren't being used. Um, so do you want to track people as they're using those buildings? Do you want to see how they're using the space? Do you want to know what humidity levels are appropriate for them? Do you want to be able to open vents at a particular time that's particular to that building? A um, whole range of things that could be coming through um, where companies, the smaller companies, the exciting ideas are bubbling up from that. And what we're doing is looking at sensors across industry. Um, so we'll find that somebody in healthcare has got an idea which actually might be great for construction. Um, so dehydration of people I just mentioned could actually apply also in, in lots of other situations. So in a hospital, for example, are those patients being looked after in, in a well in in a truly in a really well way? Um, and there's some, some just all these small companies have got fantastic ideas and that's what we're incubating here. I think that's what you just described. Sensors right now are going to change the way construction sees things and these incubator ideas that you're doing, these hacks that you're describing, is we haven't even begun to think about how sensors are going to change the way construction is going to use it in homes, in buildings, and this new ideas that are going to come out in these startups are going to be using sensors in whole new creative ways is what you're describing. Definitely, definitely. And it, yes, I mean, it's just so exciting. Um, I'll try and think of some examples. I mean, we've got companies here that are working on people who um, uh, you know, we're putting we're putting sensors into suits for people so that we can see what temperature they are. We can measure their oxygen levels. And that might be someone who's an elite athlete, but it could just be someone who's visiting a building and seeing if they're comfortable. If they're in a hospital environment, for example, it could be checking um, their fluids and their uh, their temperature and their which which way up they're lying, or except whether they're comfortable or not. Um, but equally, that could apply to me sitting in this building now. Am I am I sitting correctly? Am I uh, the right temperature? So, what what can work in extreme environments? I think will just become the norm in our office buildings and in our homes. Well, Alison, I really enjoyed spending time with you. Thank you for spending time with us here on Innovation in Tech. Alison Mitchell from Sensor City. Thank you so much today. Thank you very much, Peggy.